Okay, so we all know the Eheim brand, and they are very good for aquarium filtration, although the canisters have become a little bit plasticky. Now this is basically another powered sponge filter. Okay, there's a the big sponge there. Um, according to this, it's up to 200 litres max. I would not go any more than 140, 150 on that. Um, it has between 220 and 570 litres an hour. That's not much, okay? And as I say, they're not. it's not a great um, amount of water movement, okay? So you would really want to go with a low stock. Um, I wouldn't go goldfish. I would go something like guppies on this particular type of filter. Um, it does have a venturi, which I do like, which means you can introduce air through this nozzle. This nozzle moves. Now, I do believe this is only 6 watt. Now, my Fluval air system... Uh, is 11 watt okay so this probably would be better than the sponge filter uh, in my my um, recommendations so let's have a look there you go there's a little bit of information uh, let's have a look there you go motor casing and cable remain in place in the aquarium while the filter compartment slides. Now that was a little bit more complicated. Okay, this did take a lot of wedging on and off, so I wouldn't believe that too much, but I'm gonna get it apart. I'm gonna have a quick look at it and see what's in the actual box. Okay, so out of the box, it is a big lump really for something with such a low flow, okay? Um, the main unit comes with this actually attached. I've taken it on just to have a look and there is well, that looks quite easy to change the impeller anyway, or at least clean it. So we're going to have a look at it all together. It all slides together quite easily. Um, let me turn that over. That basically goes in like so and slides down like that. Okay, so that just slides into there. I'm going to leave it off for the minute because I want to make sure there's no plasticky. Always take these out. And I would say, give those a rinse. All right, you get some nice, I, like, I do love Eheim suckers. They're huge, they're big, um, and they're gonna fit onto there. The Venturi goes onto that. Let me have a look, yeah, and it's quite a unique type. It's not a, it's like a spout rather than a nozzle, okay? So here's the Venturi. The, the pipe is very, very small, but it's a rigid pipe, so that should be okay. Um, I've noticed that there was actually some moisture in this, so I don't know if it's second hand or it doesn't look second hand. Okay, so I'm going to get it put together, and if I see any notes on the way, I shall give you uh, some tips on how I would set this up. Just a couple of pointers while I'm on this. I noticed that this is where the water goes down, so it sucks through and then goes all the way down through here, yeah, through this part here, okay. So it comes up and then goes down through here. So there's actually nowhere you can put biomedia, really. I suppose you could put it down the center, a little bit down there. Um, so it is literally just a sponge filter. And our sponge filters aren't bad. I mean, you know, they're mechanical um, and biological. Uh, obviously, you can't use any chemicals in this, really. Um, but just a point of note on that. So if you are using this in, say, a quarantine tank um, where you would put chemicals in you probably couldn't put any carbon in it you might be able to put a little bit in, in there to remove any of the chemicals that you put in there the meds or anything but apart from that I wouldn't use this for that this would be really good um, in my opinion in a small something like a flex one two three maybe maybe that would be a good good thing for that you get a proper flow we'll get it together and we'll set it up and see what we get flow wise okay one other thing to note just looking at the back is you do have a place for the cable either way out of here or even out the top, which I think is brilliant. I mean, it's a good idea. I mean, some people have this on the side of their tank in a corner. Um, this would be ideal because you could literally um, put the cable wherever you want it. This is where the suckers go. They're very easy to put in. I'll show you them set up in a second. Um, yeah, the unit itself is 11 inches high, which seems quite a lot. 11 inches is quite a lot um, it's about 25 centimeters something like that okay let's have a look just a note putting the suckers together you get these in a little packet and they slide in here like that uh, there you go like that and then that clips into there into that little slot 
okay you get loads of those and there's the little venturis it's adjustable so that's quite a good idea and the suckers are huge I mean they're just really big um, I can't really give you a context there well there's a there's a plug right and there's the sucker yeah that gives you an idea okay so look okay I did wonder what these were for okay and the little blanking plates I don't know if you can see that see that the little blanking plate that goes right there it's quite a good idea actually because um, it will stop anything like baby fish or anything getting in there and going down here so there you go okay there's the suckers installed okay and obviously I'll put these blankers in as well I'll put the cable straight out the top just for purposing but we'll see because whichever way you go you can either move it from here and put it up here and blah 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 and there you go that's the impeller out so I'm going to get it all set up and get it into the tank well actually I'm going to check it in the sink first see what the flow is like okay okay you must have at least three quarter of this in the water like this and this is the flow plenty of surface agitation I do notice it's leaking here but we're I would assume that's how it's supposed to be. Bear in mind it's supposed to be under the water. Also, this is literally 360 degrees, so that's a very good thing. The suckers are amazing. Um, so there you have it. My recommendation, this over a lot of the others that are on the market, and it's half the price, so have a look at that.